Like I posted on Instagram, I told you that I had ordered a quarter inch magnetic socket holder from Dynamic and here it is. Um, if you guys remember in a previous post, I've gotten the complete set of the SAE quarter 3 8 and my half is actually over here right now. Um, but I wanted to get the metrics to replace this rack. Uh, this rack is a Harbor Freight rack. Um, it's, it's been a great rack, honestly. I know people complain about these breaking off, but honestly, I've never had that particular issue. Um, but what I like about these is that you can take them to the vehicle with you or lawnmower, whatever you're working on. And, you know, you can stick it on the side. And if you don't knock it off. But, I mean, they stay on the side. You can pull a socket out. Um, there we go. But they're, you know, they're pretty nice. So I'm loving my SAE, and I want to get the uh, metrics put into this. Let me get this out of the package and set up, and I'll show you. Be right back. So here it is all set up. Um, these are cornwall sockets, by the way. I don't have a four and four and a half. But one thing that, and I've had this issue with other organizers too, is that my set actually had or has a 15 millimeter and there's none on this rack there was on the peg rack of 15 but on these magnetic ones there isn't and i did this at work too i ended up just putting the 15 and with the SAE, since there's no 5.8s. And uh, I tried to buy a 5.8. And they're not as easy to come across, apparently. Um, found a couple of different ones on eBay and Amazon. Um, which I might end up getting, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever actually needed a 5.8 or not. But, again, really nice holders. And I love, I love how easy the numbering is. Um, on this, my home box, this is kind of high. Easy to see. My cart at work, you look down on. And again, they're still easy to see. Um, highly recommended. If you never bought Dynamic before, if you go to the website and buy it, um, and you sign up for the emails, they give you percentage off. I don't remember if it's 10 or 15% off your first order. Um, they have all kinds of different stuff to look for. Um, you might be amazed. But I just wanted to show my new set. Very happy. And I will probably donate this one to my girlfriend's son. Um, if you remember or not, he's in the army right now. He's going to get out here soon. And he likes working on cars and stuff. I've been trying to help him out getting some stuff together. So it won't go to waste. Also, I wanted to point out something about these. This is my 3 8 here. Um, and I've had people ask me, does impact sockets fit in here? So the only impact sockets I have um, 
I work, they're experts, and they do fit, but I don't have one here to show you. But here is a gear wrench number eight. No problem. Gray pneumatic five eighths. Right there. And what is this? Cornwell 13. Thirteen. So as you see, impacts do fit these in most name brands. Now you gotta be careful. Some of your cheaper name brands are really thick, um, so they might not. But I do know. But the gear wrench, Cornwells, and gray pneumatics, and expert from Max, that they do fit in these. Um, so yeah, uh, good option for impacts also. Matter of fact, I'd probably have them in here, but I'm short on space in my impact drawer. So, yeah. But I hope that answers some questions. Hope you guys are having a good one. Take care. Be safe. See you later. One mechanic out. Ciao. Ain't nobody, nobody, nobody stopping me.